Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Lisa Richardson and this morning we are joined first by Mike Barbara of the Mike Barber Trio and we are here to talk about the Jazz by the Sea and the tribute to Ella Fitzgerald and the Duke Ellington program coming up April the 28th. Good morning. Good morning. So you are one of MB3. I like that name. Correct. Tell us a little bit about the MB3 Trio first of all. Okay. Uh, we started about a year and a half ago. Uh, our real inspiration was uh, the building of the new beach club in Sea Pines. If you haven't been there yet, there's a lovely lounge on the second floor. As soon as we saw it, uh, we said, boy, this would be a place to really have a new venue for some jazz on the island. And it took a while talking to the management at Sea Pines, but eventually they gave us a shot and we started off at one, one evening a week. By the second week, we were two evenings a week, and now we're doing between two and three evenings a week. Uh, the trio is myself on bass, uh, Jeff Hall on drums, and we're really fortunate to have one of the best musicians on the island, Bill Peterson, on piano. So you use the venue in Sea Pines as your inspiration, it sounds like. Absolutely. And obviously you have a heart for jazz. So tell us about these two different events that you have. Okay. Um, at, the, at the Beach Club, we have Jazz by the Sea every Tuesday and Thursday evening at 7, 7 to 9. And that's the trio performing, and we'll usually have a guest. Sometimes it's uh, what we like to call the fourth member of our trio. Betsy Jamison on vocals. Mm -hmm. um, and then once a month, we'll do a full moon event where we'll move into the bigger room at Sea Pines called the Atlantic Room. And uh, we'll bring in a couple of extra musicians. And we'll actually put a big telescope out on the, on the deck. Oh, wow. And we'll give little tours of astronomy as, uh, as the night goes on. Uh, the second event is uh, t almost uh, really totally different. Uh, it is, it's the Odyssey, Odyssey Jazz Orchestra, which is run by Don Jamella. Uh, I took over this year as the head of the marketing. I'm also playing bass in that. And uh, we're doing a tribute to Ella Fitzgerald and Duke Ellington. It's a 20-piece big band at the Center for Performing Arts up at uh, University of South Carolina in Beaufort. Wow, neat. So you can, now what about if someone would like to come to Sea Pines? Can they get in the gate? Is there a, a gate fee they have to pay? How does that work? There's a gate fee they have to pay, but uh, Sea Pines will reimburse the gate fee against the cost of the food. Great, so, which they typically do. That, that's a great correct, gesture. So correct. a great reason to come out and see. Now with summer coming up, what other events might you have besides these regular weekly ones at Sea Pines? Well, as we said, we always have the full moon event, and that one is coming up next Tuesday. Uh, so that'll be on the full moon every month, and we'll publicize that, <laughs> on, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. And uh, we'll publicize that on, on social media. And then we're also looking to bring the big band onto Sea Pines somewhere. Uh, maybe for a holiday concert uh, at the Harbortown Clubhouse. That's really neat because we've got so many different kinds of music around the area, but this might be a kind of a unique niche you've got to bring to Sea Pines here. So it's obviously open to anyone, family Correct. oriented? Um, the Ocean Lounge is 21 and over. Okay. So obviously the family has to be a little bit older. Okay. Uh, but the, the event in Buford is open to everyone. Uh, there's tickets online at the USCB Performing Arts Center. and. Uh, we're hoping for a sellout up there. Give us an idea what the ticket range is for that event. Uh, Twenty-eight dollars, and twenty-three for seniors. Great. Now tell us a little bit about your background. How did you get into jazz, and how did this come to what it is today? Boy, that's a long story. Uh, <laughs> as, the summary uh, of it. <laughs> as the youngest in an Italian family, you wind up playing the accordion. My father plays the accordion. <laughs> I thought he was the only one in the world. Okay, great. <laughs> and uh, I realized when. Uh, when the Beatles came over in 1964, there was no accordions. So I actually <laughs> taught myself the bass and then took, up, took it up formally later on. And then when we moved to Hilton Head five years ago, I really got back into music more full time. Mm -hmm. And that was the development of the trio and now with the big band. And who is directing this? Uh, Don Jamella is the director of the Odyssey Music Group and the big band. Uh, we've got two great vocalists, Gina Renee and Penny Lynn Smith, who will be doing the Ella Fitzgerald and Duke Ellington parts on that. And uh, that should be really a fantastic show up there. With next week being Heritage Week, of course, lots happening at Sea Pine. So this is just another opportunity to come out and, and stay the evening and see some great music and visit a, the beautiful Beach Club, as you mentioned. It's well, a, great, a great place to be and a beautiful scenery. Anything else you want to share uh, before we wrap up? Make sure you make reservations at the Beach Club. Okay, so it's very uh, important we've, to we've do been that. We've out. Okay, great. Well, Mike, thank you for sharing, and we wish you the best for this wonderful uh, music venue and this opportunity for folks to come out and hear some great music. So you'll all stop over and, and check them out over there in Sea Pines and stay right here. We'll be back with more Talk of the Town.